Greetings everyone, welcome to another lesson of prepositional collocation. And here we are going to example, uh, examine the use of with. So um, this is by me, Abhinavanand. So this is about me, I'm Abhinavanand, posting English honors from University of Delhi, a football lover, a poet, and a traveler. Please do not forget the three R's and one S, although they are not clearly visible here. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you should forget. So please don't forget the three R's in one S, that is do rate, review, recommend and share my videos. And do leave your comments in the section below. So let's move on. So let's move forward with the course. So this is uh, one of the example of the use of with. And sorry about these gray spaces. I mean, this design was like that, so if it seems a little dull, I'm really sorry for that. So anyway, let's move forward with the course. So let's examine where are the places or situation in which with is used. The first is having. So a sense of possession of something, having something, is where we use with. The next is using. So uh, when we get the sense of using something or making use of something, so that is where with is used. Again, agreement or understanding. So in this case also with is used. And uh, for example, uh, we usually say I agree with you on this point. So the point is that with is used here in order to establish that agreement. Also with is used to show that something or someone being uh, have, are together or are involved with each other. So in that sense also with is used. So let's move on to see the examples. Examples of being together or understanding. So let's see these examples. The first one, I ordered a sandwich with a drink. So this sandwich being together with drink is uh, an example which shows, uh, which uses with and let's see the next one. He was with his friend when he saw me. So this uh, togetherness of him and his friend is being shown with the use of this word, preposition with. Next example, she has been working with, his, with her sister at the nail shop. So her work with her sister and the relation between her sorry not relation but the togetherness of her and her sister is being shown with the help of this preposition with the manager will be with you shortly so this understanding that the manager is going to be with the person who wants to meet the manager is being shown by this use of word with moving on examples to negate having so somebody who is having something if we have to uh, clarify that somebody is having something or in possession of something then we use with let's see the example get this more clear i met a guy with green eyes so with green eyes so here with is actually saying that the boy was having green eyes so you can say how the connection is being established between boy and green eyes next example were you the one talking with an accent so uh, again this, uh, this connection this uh, this uh, i mean this idea of uh, somebody having a fake accent or an accent is being conveyed here the third example people with a lot of money are not always happy so people with so people having a lot of money can be always uh, replaced by that word because it kind of gives the sense of having something so people with a lot of money are not always happy so people having a lot of money are not always happy and that's a kind of true statement so Nevertheless, we let's move on. Example to indicate using. So, 
how we use something in order to do, uh, do something that is being also uh, com communicated by using this preposition with. Let's see how. Let's see the first example. I wrote a letter with the pen you bought me. So this writing of letter was done using this pen and thus we use with in order to make sure that the connection is established. This is the soup that I made with tomato and barley. So again this use of with in order to make sure that uh, the soup was made with tom tomato and barley. So the next one, he cut my hair with his old scissor. Again this use of old scissor in order to cut hair. So giving this idea of using something in order to do something. Moving on. Examples of agreement or understanding. So let's see how it works. Are you with me on this? So uh, are you agreeing with me on this? Are you on my side? So all these uh, questions, all these things that are being discussed, we use with in order to make sure that our point is driven home properly. The second one, yes, I'm absolutely with you. So it's kind of exam answer to the question that is posited above. And uh, this agreement, this uh, understanding is being shown using with. She agrees with her. So uh, another example of agreement or understanding. Moving on. It's time for Boffin's book of brilliance. Let's see what Boffin has for us. So Boffin says, the following words take preposition with after them. So Boffin is the one actually doing the course, the main course that is prepositional collocation. But nevertheless, the use that we learn in the example are also example of collocations in special situations. So the entire course revolves around that. So let's see what Boffin has for us. Often says that verbs take preposition, following verbs take preposition with after them. So what are these verbs? Associate. So we usually say associate with, clash with, cope with, cope with the life, right? We usually say this. Credit with, disagree with, grapple with, quarrel with, comply with. So all of this we use. Also, there are these following nouns that take with after them. These are acquaintance with, bargain with, comparison with, intimacy with, enmity with, relations with. So these are the nouns that actually we want to take with after them. So that was it for the Boffins book of Brilliance. Let's move to the song of preposition. Let's see what we have here. There is no point in clashing with the people around us. If you want enmity to do enmity do it with your ego, quarrel with your dogmas and prejudice. That's the only quarrel that leads to bliss. So here are three examples, I guess, of the use of with. So there's no point in clashing with the people around us. If you want enmity, do it with your ego. So enmity, if you won't do it with your ego, quarrel with your dogmas. So in the previous uh, often you just told us that quarrel usually have with after it. So this is one of the examples where you can incorporate it to quarrel and after that automatically will come with. That's the only quarrel that leads to bliss. So this was the song of preposition and obviously something is being told here and something of great importance. So also the content of the song is very important apart from the use that it shows of the preposition with. And finally, it's time for you to take up your pen or take up the keyboard and start typing start letting out those ideas, those thoughts which use this preposition with and 
with your pen or with your keyboard, with your touchpad, whatever it is, let's start with writing something and let's share our thoughts, let's see what we can use, how you can use these words, how we can all enrich our knowledge of using these words. And I'll wait for your responses. Till then, bye-bye, take care. And with a lot of love, this is Abhinavan. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.